Hello my dear students welcome back to the lecture so in this lecture we will try to understand how to mark the 5 feet marking ok we will see what is that 5 feet marking once we have casted all the column up to the beam bottom next what we are supposed to do is to put up the beam bottom right now we need to understand one thing once all the columns are casted up to the bottom of the beam the next step is to mark the column height up to 5 feet on one column and then transfer it to all other column with the help of a water tube ok so why this 5 feet see there is nothing like 5 feet you can take any distance but for our easiness we have taken 5 feet here what I am trying to tell is if I measure from the top of the slab to here it has to be a 5 feet marking I am going to do on all the columns ok first we will do it on one column you can see here it is being done on one column and after we do it on one column with reference this will be my reference column through this column I will transfer that with the help of a tube level this is called as water tube or you can call this as a tube level this method is adopted so that there won't be any level difference from the first column with respect to the other columns right if I try to if I try to do uh, this method with the help of a tape for all the column what will happen your slab is not exactly uniform isn't it even though we have tried to do it your slab is slightly in this way right a small deviation will happen so maybe here I may get a 5 feet marking somewhere here for this column for this column I may get somewhere here there may be a 1 or 2 inch difference so in order to avoid that we will take this column as a reference and with respect to this column we will transfer the 5 feet marking to all other column so that level difference I mean that particular level will remain same got it so auto level or total station can also be used to do this marking on the column uh, so when we work in the bigger company when I used to work in my previous company uh, we used to do this uh, marking with the help of a total station because we had a surveyor at our site he used to come and give us directly this marking ok even with the help of a auto level also you can transfer this level no issues in that yeah but here we are not using the both the method and this is a, a normal method what we try to use right you can see here 5 feet when I try to measure from here to here it is 5 feet and you can see here 59 inches and this comes out to be 60 inches and you can see here 5 written here because 12 5 is a 60 so it comes out to be 5 feet this much is clear so we will try to see a video for this now why this 5 feet marking has to be done uh, because you know that all the top level of the column if you know that this is not the exact level of all the column right maybe this column was supposed to be casted up to this height this column may be correct let me put in this way maybe this column was supposed to be casted up to this level whereas this column was supposed to be casted up to this level maybe this column was uh, this column is exactly correct let us say maybe this column was supposed to be casted at this level so there is a difference in all the level right so what we are supposed to do we will try to mark all the 5 feet on all the columns and then we will try to see with reference to the with uh, reference to the drawing that where this column beam bottom should come whether it has to come here or not ok if it has to come here so we will try to do that marking everywhere you are getting my point so we are taking this 5 feet as a reference ok otherwise what should have otherwise what would have, what would have happened every time you have to take a reference from here to here for all the columns right from here only for all the column you have to keep a tape here and from here you have to measure so there will be a lot of difference in that variation in that so this 5 feet marking is common to all the column and with reference to that 5 feet we will try to adjust our beam bottoms this much is clear yeah so we will go with the next video now yeah so practically you can see no this guy is uh, doing that 5 feet marking on one column so exactly can I see this is 5 feet you got that 5 feet no yeah now this is that 5 feet marking what I have done uh, give me a minute yeah so you can see that marking no hmm? so with reference to that column with reference to that column we are marking all these things ok now you can see here we have transferred that level to all the this column up to this column we have transferred the level now again this guy is trying to transfer it to this column ok I will tell you uh, you know this method already at the time of plinth level I had explained you right how to transfer the tube level so this is that 5 feet marking what we have done ok so you can see uh, this guy is holding it here they already got a 5 feet marking hmm. 
the moment he says okay this guy will mark it here so 5 feet is not a uh, uh, fixed value we can take even 6 feet also you can take even 4 feet also uh, in uh, the previous company where I used to do uh, we used to take 1 meter marking that comes out to be 3.28 feet anything is okay for us okay you're getting no so this will be done on a column on both the side uh, front and the back side okay I'll go a bit forward uh, I'll show you one more video where we can get this exact uh, idea now we have got an idea what exactly we are trying to do and where is the marking done this arrow mark is at 5 feet marking later you will try to draw a line to that yeah so all these are those uh, columns where the marking has been done you can see the marking here isn't it again one more thing uh, this method Uh, you can adopt this method even at the time of plinth beam also in the plinth beam also we had to put the beam bottom right there also we should have adopt, adopted this method and we usually adopt this method there also but i didn't want you to get confusion at that position so that why that is why i'm explaining it here but same method you can apply there also okay so you can see this marking yeah now you can see it here practically right now we are in the uh, fourth floor okay where we had done that for this I'm try I'll try to explain so these people what they have done uh, you have taken a reference of one column if I go back for this column with the help of a tape I have marked a 5 feet here and with reference to this column will transfer all the level right so now you can see they already marked it and now he's going to again a bit tedious work but if if you had a surveyor at the site directly would have given you that marking and then you could have done it directly but no issues okay i'll go a bit forward this is understood to us now this is called as right angle to make sure that exactly we are keeping the line horizontal now we are transferring the level okay we'll see how the level transfer will happen so you can see the bubble on both the side the bubble is here and here also i'm getting a bubble so it is almost horizontal now with reference to this five feet I'll transfer the level on this particular column okay you just have to hold it this guy will hold it exactly here at 5 feet okay this guy will give a signal to him the moment it starts it stops fluctuating so it has got it stopped fluctuating now exactly I'm getting here and now he'll mark it here so you can see now okay this is at 5 feet level yeah, it has stopped fluctuating now now this is that level okay understood so I'll go a bit forward same thing has to be carried out for all the columns again this column is done right 
with reference to this column I am transferring the level to this column okay you getting my point I'll go a bit forward because it's already understood to us okay And now we'll mark it here. So in this way on all the four sides, I mean on all the two sides the marking will be done and then with the help of this we'll try to draw a line. okay I'm showing it here now the uh, same thing okay I hope you have understood now with reference to this whatever previous column you had done with reference to that you have to do it for all the columns So you understood the significance of this 5 feet marking and that is how it has to be transferred to all the column and the marking will be done on all the columns. So I hope you have enjoyed the lecture up to here. So in the next lecture we will try to see how the beam bottoms are put up and what is the practical significance of this uh, 5 feet marking. So we will see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.